Dunhill Century and Dunhill Century Blue. What are the differences? Let's start this right now. First up, let's talk about the similarities. The bottle, both got these magnetic caps. Bottle design is very identical. And that is where the similarity ends. I was surprised as well since I thought that um, Century Blue would somehow be should I say the fresher take on a uh, Dunhill Century, but hey, I was wrong. First one that we're gonna be reviewing is Dunhill Century, and yes, this one is an auto perfume if I am correct. Yes, auto perfume with a weird size of 135 mil. I mean, I don't see any other any other scents that are of that. Uh, of that weight 135 mil this one Dunhill Century it does smell at the top neroli neroli leaves and then we are getting here it's getting a little bitter with this one um I think that was the uh, the Cypriol oil that was listed as an out for this it gives that earthy herbal herbally aspect to the scent so it's kind of rough in the opening some say that the opening is uh, akin to uh, body odor or bo so they're not far off with that but this one it opens up really dirty uh, neroli but the dirtiness mind you does not last it's just fleeting it's just in the beginning there's kind of a vetiver vibe in here at the mid there is an addition of olibanum and frankincense with this so imagine it adds mineral qualities uh, minerally earthy qualities to the composition it's like it's kind of like santal 33 of lelabo with the addition of neroli it smells it smells professional it smells serious perfect for office and yeah don't, don't wear this on semi-formal occasions do not wear this with jeans it has that serious vibe about it. For the longevity, I'm getting 7 hours off of this. Projection would be from average to above average. The Cypriol oil might be amplified. I don't want that bitterness to be amplified during the high heat for... I don't know, it's just not my type. I don't want to be suffocated with bitterness in the high heat. So yeah, I'm just advising you to wear this in the cold and temperature controlled environments when it has this mature vibe it's sophisticated it's it's a very mature office scent it's not juvenile it is not playful it is serious which makes sense for the types of girls that you may be attracting with this one you'd be attracting the serious types of women you know the career serious career women those who are introverts as well introverts who are outspoken who are frank you could also attract the intellectuals with this one since it runs kind of serious and kind of deep you also get to attract uh, the mature women the no-nonsense women mature due to its appeal i mean this does not appeal to anyone i'd say to any women on the 20s range I think 30 and above women 30 years old and above are the ones who could appreciate this one on a man it is it's too formal it lacks playfulness it lacks sweetness um it's bitter and I don't like my sense to be bitter to be honest um it's not it's not my type you know, the Ankron war types, the one that possess this bitter qualities, this bitter herbal qualities. Not a big fan of those. So personally, I'm not 
I'm not recommending this to you. Now we move on to Century Blue. And yeah, cool looking bottle as you can see. How is this too different from Century? Well, this one is completely different because this one is orange and ambroxan. That is what I'm getting here, orange, ambroxan. So it makes sense that it has this kind of a freshness on its top. Orange, ambrox, and ginger. And that is the three main notes that you will be getting up until its base. This one is... This one, in terms of scent profile, it's kind of lost. It doesn't, it doesn't know which direction to go. It is young, it's it's juvenile, it's like smelling someone who's in college or someone who's having midlife crisis. It's... It is a kind of scent that... So yeah, that's a, that's a main difference that we're having here. Orange, Ambrox, and Ginger. Whereas the original one that we have, it's Cypriol oil. Um, it has this very bitter uh, facets, it has this mineral qualities of the frankincense, and it has neroli, dry down of sandalwood, of course. Very casual. Do not wear this on formal occasions, do not wear this on semi-formal occasions. Just wear this one really casually. It doesn't warrant to be worn in any other occasions or times wherein you need a collar, no. I'm not even recommending this as an office scent, so yeah. For the weather condition, I'd say just during the hottest of the weather. Cloudy days as well, yeah, you could pull this off in temperate days. Now for the longevity of this, with the addition of the Ambrox and this one, well, it pushed up to the 7 to 8 hour mark with the help of the Ambrox and but it doesn't help at all because composition is quite bland and what we're having is just ambrox here at the base ambrox at the base and then which turns a little sour because the orange is carried over until its base notes so yeah uh, projection of this is it's kind of mediocre I'd say it's it's average at best but most of the times it's on the lower side so needless to say, the edge of this is affected as well. There are a lot of freshies out there. There are a lot of freshies that could replace this one, even for its price point, even for its for the performance. There's a lot of lower priced freshies that could beat this one. And that's it. My recommendation, my opinion, and my suggestion. And at the end of the day, you know it. You do you. This has been your host, Alex. I am. Out. I will see you in the next episode.